What's up everyone? Joseph here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the grammar that is on page 89 of the book. That's page 89 on unit 13. Relative pronouns for people and things. So, we use relative pronouns for people and things, right? To introduce a relative clauses. Relative clauses tell us more about people and things. So we have we've already talked about relative clauses, but we talked about relative clauses of time. So we're gonna see another type of relative clauses that give more information about people and things. If you wanna see, or if you wanna remember uh, when we talk about relative clauses of time. You can check uh, this uh, video that I'm going to link here. So, uh, the, these uh, relative pronouns are who, which, and that. So, like I, like, uh, I explained here, they introduce relative clauses. And these clauses tell us more about people and things. They give us more information about people and other things. So let's take a look at some examples. Mary Curry is the woman who discovered radium. Carl is the one who buys candy every day. This is the house which Jack built. Cats are animals which hunt prey. He's the man that created Microsoft computers. This house is the one that I lived in. Uh, this, uh, this part is not bolded. Give me a second. Okay, now it's fixed. Um, so, uh, Mary Curry is the woman who discovered radium. The woman who discovered radium. As you can see, who is the pro is is taking is is being used as a pronoun in this uh, sentence um, and it's referring to Mary Curry. Mary Curry is the woman who discovered radium. This is uh, replacing Mary Curry. It's talking about Mary Curry in this case. Carl is the one who buys candy every day. Carl is the one who buys candy every day. Who are we talking about here with, here with who? We're talking about Carl. This is the house which Jack built. Which? Which? You're talking about this. This house. The house which Jack built. We're talking about this house here. Cats are animals which hunt pre pests. Cats are animals which hunt pests. Talking about the cats here. We're giving more information about the cats. He's the man that created Microsoft computer. <clears throat> that, in this case, is also part of the, the relative clause. He's the man that created Microsoft computers. Here, we're making reference to he. And this is the relative clause that is giving more information about he. This house is the one that I lived in. This house is the one that I lived in. That, referring to this house. Um, when we use who, do we refer to people or things? What, what would you say? What would be your answer to that? What about which and that? When do we use which and when do we use that? Did you notice in these sentences? Well, let's take a look. Who is used to join clauses about people and people only? Which is used to join clauses about things and animals as well? Uh, that is used to join clauses about people or things. So this is, a, uh, this is one we can use for, uh, for ge in general. For people, for things, for animals, for ideas. And who is used 
to join classes about people, of course, in which things and animals. A quick note here, uh, we can use who for animals sometimes, but uh, if we uh, have a personal relationship with the animal, then we can use who sometimes. When we're not going to see this in this grammar, we're going to focus on who for people only. Let's take a look at some examples. I am the one who invented the time machine. I am the one who invented the time machine. Of course, giving more information about I. This piece is the one which I needed. Which is needed, excuse me. Which is needed. I didn't read this uh, very well at the beginning. This piece is the one which is needed. Talking about the piece. The computer is something that is very useful. The computer is something that is very useful. You are the guy that stole my car. As you can see, we can use that for things and for people. And who is for people only and which is for things or animals. So these sentences contain two clauses each. A main clause and a relative clause. A relative clause give inform gives information about something in the main clause. So let's uh, take a look at this example. Matrix is a science fiction fantasy that has become a blockbuster franchise. This is the relative clause, as we explained. Uh, the relative clauses give more information about the main clause. Abinader is the man who is the president of the Dominican Republic. Abinader is the man who is the president of the Dominican Republic. Toyota is the brand which makes the Corolla model. Toyota is the brand which makes the Corolla model. Again, giving more information uh, relative to the main clause. Note. Relative clauses give information about nouns. Don't use personal pronouns in a relative clause if you're trying to refer to it. That's what the relative pronouns who or that or which is doing. We use who, that and which to replace the noun in the relative clause. So we don't have to use another pronoun next to it. Let's take a look. He's an actor that he won two Oscars. No. We don't, if we are already talking about he, we don't have to repeat he in, this, in the relative clause. That is doing the work. This, uh, this word that. He's an actor that won two Oscar. We don't have to mention he here. Ensenada Beach is the one that it is near Esteron. No. This is not correct. We cannot use it. We cannot use it because that is referring to Ensenada Beach in this case. We don't have to use it here. Ensenada Beach is the one that is near Esteron. In these sentences, the pronouns are not referring to the nouns in the first clause. And in these sentences here. She's the girl who you're going to talk to. This is the piece which I need. As you can see, I am using another pronoun here. And you might be thinking, well, but you just said you cannot use a pronoun in the second sentence. Well, the thing is that this pronoun is not referring to this, uh, this part. Here I'm talking about the girl, right? About she, about her. And... So I can use another pronoun that it doesn't refer to her. If I say she's the girl who, who she, then that would be incorrect. Here, uh, I am talking about you. So it doesn't matter if I use another pronoun. Because who is referring to the girl? This is the piece which I need. I 
is not referring to the piece, right? Because it's I. Which here is referring to the piece. And I is additional information about the piece. And here, for example, Abinader is the man who is the president of the Dominican Republic. Well, here, here I cannot use a, um, a pronoun re referring to Abinader. I cannot say Abinader is the man who he. I cannot. I cannot do that. Who is already referring to Abinader in this uh, sentence? So. This is the end of the video. I will see you on the next one.